What is going on guys? Welcome back to Fort Misery Gaming and today guys we're going to be doing some more summons today. My first summoning video, actually official summoning video outside of the reroll video where we got our boy Sez on the channel. So um, we only have two uh, pullable four stars which is Sez and Angelica which I have been working on them uh, quite a bit actually. Sez is a three out of five star awakened. Um, level 43, so he's got 16,000 uh, CP. And then Angelica, we just started farming her as well, where she's at 36 out of 40, and she's 3 out of 4 stars. So, not too bad. So, we are going to be summoning on the Destina banner. Um, it would be really cool to pull her, uh, but actually, I'm really wanting to randomly pull Ravi. A customer. We have a visitor. All right, we're a customer. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously she's really good she has a heal in all her abilities and her first ability actually has an attack with a heal which is nice um blessings recovering their so she has a, a cleanse which is nice the, this is kind of useful also because you can basically uh get rid of poison paralysis things like that so that's really good um increases readiness by 30 percent as well um so she has um and it restores all debuffs and increases uh, combat readiness will be increased by 15%. Healing is proportionally cast to all her stuff based off her HP. So you want to give her HP items as well. So she's really good, a really good unit. So she's still one of the best healers in the game. Um, there's some dispute as far as Elson and her. Um, they're just di they do different roles. I feel Elson does a full party heal, um, but he does other things as well. As far as he has a uh, a enemy debuff on one of his attacks and then he has a full party defense and attack increase so he's kind of an all-around support unit where uh, Destina is a dedicated healer so that's the difference but let's go ahead and hop in we can do 20 single summons today so let's see if we can pull any five star heroes or four star heroes even that would be the goal um, not really looking to get a lot of artifacts. Um, I would much rather to get uh, some five-star heroes. So let's see what we can get today. All right, and it's just going to be a three-star. So, and unfortunately, we can only do single summon. So a three-star artifact. Yep. All right, so portal. All right, so let's go ahead and summon again. Summon number two see what we can get guys all right can we get a four star no another three star unfortunately all right so three star uh it's just general four percent chance to grant an extra turn so four percent pretty garbage in my opinion I don't think the stories do anything. I don't think if you, like, like a Dragalia, if you pull new things, you can get um, stories, like for the, the heroes and the dragons, and you actually get more Wormite for it. So we got a three star hero, Dude, so we got Jenna. Cool. So we got Jenna, okay. So she has attacks with staff, deals damage, proportion, number of debuffs inflicted, and eh, kind of meh. Casts weakening magic on all enemies, so she debuffs, decreased attack and speed for two turns. And then tax with a 50% chance to decrease her culture. Yeah, so I probably wouldn't use her either, to be honest. Probably wouldn't use her. I probably want to keep, like, one copy of every unit just to have them, though. Um, just in case. You never know if they buff in character and they're really good for a certain mission or something. Could happen. So another three-star. Okay. All right, so going again. <laughs> another three-star. That's Actually, it's the same... I believe that's the same artifact. And I'm not sure if you can sell artifacts or if you can, like, convert them for other materials. Because I know you can for the heroes. You can trade those in for the green crystals. All right, so we got a three-star hero. We got a dog, man. <laughs> a Rosoid. Okay. All right, so let's go in again. So he's an earth thief. All right. Does that mean a four-star? No, still just a three star. We got Cameros. Okay. I heard she's decent. I think I have her already, though. So I probably could uh, feed her in. Or I could. I supposedly there is a somewhat of a dupe system um, as well. So maybe I could try that as well. So that's another three star again. Yep. We three star hero. 
Azalea? I'm an officer of the Rengar Public Security Club. Is she a hero? Azalea Portia. Or a warrior? I, I have to listen to her dialogue. Oh, cool. But that's a warrior, though. So, actually, that's not bad, because there's... A so, in the story, you actually have to go through a lot of uh, quests where you have to bring a specific hero type in order to get all the star rewards. And I had to use slime for the warrior because I didn't have any. So, I'll actually take that. So, now I at least have a have a uh, something that isn't a slime. So, all right. And another uh, print. So, we're almost halfway. We got two more summons to reach our halfway mark and no five star yet, unfortunately. So... So far, summons have not been too good. That's why it's very important to reroll in this game because the rates are pretty bad in this game overall. All right, and then we got um, Hazel. Hazel Stressa, black sheep. Uh, I mean, clerk of the student council. <laughs> so I guess if you get a new character, you have to listen to their dialogue, and it's still not not letting me advance. Okay, thank you, <laughs> thank you. All right, going in again. All right, halfway mark. Can we get at least a four star? No, another three star. Wow, that's crazy. All three stars in 10 summons. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Wow. All right. So we're, we're at the halfway part of the video. So let's see if we can get at least one four star even in 20, 20 summons. Fill the article. Artifact journal. So we got a reward for summoning too many artifacts. At least there's that, I guess, right? All right, and we got a labyrinth cube, which I believe I already had one of those. Oh no, that is new. Okay, the labyrinth cube is new. Looks like another three star pull. Wow, this really, really bad RNG. Really, really bad RNG. Like, those YouTubers out there that pull Destina so easily. <laughs> it's like, man, where is my, uh, where is, where is my luck on that? Because <laughs> I don't think, oh, here we go. We got a gold book, finally. And an artifact, of course it is. At least it was a four star. So, but it is a thief exclusive, so I can actually use that. That's actually not too bad. Penetrates defense by 10% when attacking an enemy not at max health. So I, that's a better, it's a better print at least for, um, for says. So I won't be, I mean, I thought the worst of the prints I could get, but definitely was not, uh, wasn't a hero. So it's kind of still unfortunate. And another three star is going to be another artifact. Okay. Ancient stealth. So we got six more pulls. See if we can get at least one more four star. Because then it would at least equal out to being uh, two four stars and two multi summons. Oh, here we go. So we're getting at least a four star here. Another artifact, man. All right. So a four star artifact for a knight exclusive. Uh, instead of allies, takes 10% of the damage suffered by them. Does not overlap with an artifact providing the same effect. Okay. So I guess the artifact takes the damage. I would assume that's how that works. The artifact takes the damage. Okay. It basically prevents 10% damage. But it's from all allies, so that's pretty cool. But the only good knight character I have is the starting character. So probably won't use that, to be honest. Okay. That's something we've already had. Ascending Axe. Let's see what else we can get. Get one more four or five star before the end of the video. would be amazing. And nope, another three star. All right. Another artifact. A new artifact though, but still. All right, we got three more pulls. Let's see if we can get a five star and one, one five star. Come on, come on. Give us a five star and two four star prints. That'd be great. No, okay. So we got two more pulls left to try to get it. Two more pulls guys. Can we get it? Can we get it? Let's see. Let's see, and... All right, so we got one last pull. And I'm pretty sure the rates don't increase um, when you summon, right? I don't wanna go, let's go to, there's actually, yeah, the rates are the same. So 46.75 46 for a hero, 53.25, yeah. So five-star hero is still 1.25%. 
Okay. So the last summon of the video, guys. Can we get it? And we did get one mileage out of our uh, out of our summon so far. So last summon of the video. Can we go out with at least a four star? Let's see. And no, going off with a three star, unfortunately. So oh well. Not too great of a summoning video. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it wasn't that great. Um. So, but anyway, uh, hope you guys all enjoyed nonetheless. Hope you guys had better luck than me for sure. De definitely did not have that great of a luck. Um, I probably will go in at least one more time, um, just because I actually already have enough crystals to do one more summoning. So I'll probably do this on like Tuesday or something like that um, and do another uh, summoning to try to get Destina or at least another five-star hero. Uh, or, you know, even just a five-star print to put on some more units it wouldn't be too bad as well. But hope you guys all enjoy the video today. As always, please show that love down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Like the video. Comment down below. How are you guys enjoying Epic 7 and all that kind of good stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next Epic 7 video. Thank you guys so much for the support as always. Catch you guys later. Peace out.